groups. And then from there, we're going to do a breakout based on these affinity groups Jay. and discuss them. And to affirm it. And the final thing that I want to say, well, after the presentation. Okay. I'm going to come back and occupy stuff. My name is uh, Linnea. I'm going to go over the action that we all, that people at Occupy Wall Street have been working on developing for at least three, four months now. So back in June, we got together and we were like, hey, S17 is coming up. It's our one year anniversary. What do we want to do? Um, and it was actually very challenging. People had a lot of different ideas. And so we decided to try a different way of, of a different process for our coming up with this action. <laughs> what we decided to do is to focus on our intentions for the day. We realized that some people had the intention Thanks. of wanting to do education and outreach. And they wanted to bring people together and tell people and educate people about why we are here occupying Wall Street. Other people wanted to take really, really direct action. They wanted to shut it down. They wanted to disrupt the 1%. Because as we know, the 1% have disrupted all of our lives. There are people that wanted to do that. There are people that just wanted to focus on getting the message out and doing media and technical outreach. There are people that wanted to do outreach nationally to all of you. Some of you I know are many have come from all around the country and the world and people wanted to do that. So what we did is we broke into clusters based on intention and that's how we came up with the actions for the weekend, which I'm not going to go over right now, but also the actions for the day. Mic check? Yes. A little louder please. Yeah, I will try to be louder. <clears throat> yeah, you can go like this if you can't hear me. Yeah. So, yeah, so this is the map we've come up with so far. Let me tell you how we got here. One thing that we did, what? Okay. So, we did an assessment and found out like, okay, which groups are already here and planning on doing stuff? What we realized is we had about four groups. There was the people focusing on education. There were people focusing on debt, all different kinds of debt, student debt, foreclosures, all sorts of debt. Ecology folks who are connecting Wall Street to the environmental crisis. And then the 99% zone, people focusing on, on health care, on money and politics, all of those things. And there are a few different actions for the day. One action, they're going to go for the actions. OK, OK. So they're going to talk about what specific actions. But what we were able to do is come up with uh, with a few different actions based on people's intentions. One is an action based on um, single intention to like do something in one place, we're gonna... and others are distributed. So, did I miss anything in this? I think the only thing I would add is that this represents the best work that everyone in all those places could do, and we have a chance now to yeah. make it even better or say this is awesome enough, and that's sort of the process we're about to go into. Great. So they're going to go over the actual actions for Monday, September 17th. Look at that. We got a cup van. Okay, basically, Lower Manhattan has been divided into these four zones. We got another cup van. Um, and we thought that it would be a great idea to convene at 7 a.m. Yeah. Which zone you feel the most affinity for? Um, one meetup spot Cheer is here at the South Street Seaport for the education zone. One is flying away. Just kidding. One is right here where we first started our meeting at 55 Water for Louder the debt zone. Louder for the debt zone is at 55 Water. Um, for the eco zone is right kind of here, over here. And for the 99%, it's at Liberty. Um, for, after 7 a.m. at 7.30, um, we're going to leave these convergence points 
and come together at these big POW signs. These POW signs on um, N17 were places that were blockaded in front of Wall Street so we couldn't access them. We're going to go to these places and form something that we want to call the People's Wall. Um, let's talk about the People's Wall. So, Does that so, feel good? So, so just very quickly we want wall? a snapshot of what the People's Wall is supposed to look like or talked about so far. So could somebody quickly? I got it. You want me to do something? All right, if you got good. Yeah, yeah, you go. Okay. okay. So just a little recap leading up to that because it can see this can seem a little overwhelming. Amazing. 7 a.m. People are going to go into down to Lower Manhattan. You, we have the four zones. It really doesn't matter which one you choose to go to. Um, there's and and like Nicole said, there's four different assembly points. We're expecting a lot of people that show up on Monday and haven't are, aren't going to really be here for the weekend to kind of just naturally go to Zuccotti, go to Liberty Plaza, uh, and not really sure where to go. So from there, there'll be a main sort of dispatch area. And from there, people will be directed into the different assembly points within the zone. And there, at those assembly points, are going to be info and comms in touch with everybody around all of Lower Manhattan. So if you have questions, if you're not sure where to go, if you don't know how many people are already in this cluster or what, how to participate, you can go to those tables and figure out what to do. Um, so at 7 a.m., assemble at those points. At 7.30, we're going to go to the POW signs, uh, the area all around Wall Street, and the Stock Exchange, and form the People's Wall. And so the People's Wall, there are many people that have already have in mind to do a civil, uh, an act of civil disobedience. So there are people that have recognized, I am going to get arrested. And uh, there's also people that know that they're not going to. And so, uh, but that are going to go to support them. So the idea is to block all these access points uh, surrounding the stock exchange by locking arms and a sit-in. And then there, when uh, the police order to, for, uh, for people to disperse, those who know that they want to get arrested will sit, will remain seated. And then those who can't get arrested or don't want to be arrested uh, will leave. Or, or you stand up and walk away um, and break into what we're calling the 99 revolutions. Yeah. Um, the 99 revolutions is or, or will be um, group affinity groups, small groups of people, large groups of people, people that you feel affinity with, going into intersections and shutting down these intersections, creating the world that you want to see inside of these intersections. So if you don't feel comfortable taking part in the nonviolent civil disobedience. You can get into these 99 revolutions that will be happening at intersections all across all four of these zones and create the world you want to see inside of these intersections. So one of the reasons why we're bringing it back and stressing affinity groups so much is that these zones are completely autonomous. Nothing is planned for these zones yet. So you and your affinity group or people that you meet this weekend that may be interested in a particular action can go out and do whatever you'd like in these zones. You can also uh, there'll be assemblies over the weekend and stuff for affinity groups to meet one another and people to get together and if say the whole education zone wants to do some uh, you know between 7 and 10 a.m. a whole action together uh, with a more critical mass then everybody can come together and the comm system will really be a way for us to utilize our people power and to communicate with one another what we have in mind what our intentions are and what we'd like to do the morning of. Um, another thing you might notice on the map, um, or you might not because you might have bad eyes. Um, we'll give you all a map tonight. <laughs> there are little circles with numbers on them. Each of those numbers corresponds with a key target. It could be a bank lobby. It could be uh, something else that we don't necessarily agree with. <laughs> um, and these are, these are specific points um, where we suggest that maybe you try something out. Maybe you don't try something out. It's up to you but we've located these specific action points and given them to you as a point of reference. Yeah. So we now need to get to the yeah. and So again, little recap, 7 a.m. the point. 7.30 is the people's wall and then from there we'll dispatch back out into the zones where the 99 revolutions will happen. Then at 10 a.m. the eco cluster has an action that will be happening mm -hmm. at Bowling Green Park, at the, which is the site of the bull. 
Um, and they have a, a big action in place there. So they've asked that everybody will come in support of that. Um, and the idea is for everybody to go there. And then following that eco action um, will be a spokes to uh, another AG spokes to see how people are feeling. Are we tired out? Are, are, have a ton of people been arrested? Uh, are people still wanting to do more? And then uh, decide from there where we want to go for the rest of the immediate morning. Um, and then the day wraps up with afternoon actions, rest, and 6 p.m. Yeah. thing? Yeah. So the next thing isn't really until 6 o'clock, uh, which is why we're going to have the spokes to see if people want to continue doing things immediately following the eco action or if people feel like they want to break. Um, and all of uh, the safe spot uh, off of this, I think it's um, not directly on here. No, I think it's up there, or, yeah. Is it? It's, it's just not me. Foley. Yeah, so Foley Square. Uh, that if you're looking for a safe space or if you become too overwhelmed by the morning and you want to retreat at some point, uh, you can go to Foley Square. Food and, and rest and all those things will be there all day. Um, and and following the spokes, if, if you know everybody together is kind of feeling like we want to break, uh, then we'll go back to Foley Square and then there'll be evening actions there. Uh, and the popular assembly and it's like labor's th and labor's going to be in liberty at noon. Yeah. Labor allies are calling for a thing in liberty at noon. Yeah. I'm gonna do the, should I do my yeah. yeah. So um, my name is Lisa, and I've also been helping to work on this. So somebody just said, you know, we're going to go block intersections or lobbies. Like we don't normally do that. And it might be kind of intimidating for some of the people to think, how are we going to go out and block streets? And for some of you, it might not be at all. But who was in an action yesterday where you blocked the street? Were any of you here? Right? Did you have a good time? Yeah. Was it easy? Yes. Could you do it again? Yes. Yeah. Look at their faces. OK? So all that being said and done, I just, again, a little visual if you think about it. There's an inner core to Wall Street, which is the stock exchange. There's another level to Wall Street, which is the homes and offices of the 1%, right? And then you've got the arteries and roads that go elsewhere. All roads lead to Wall Street. So within each zone, you're going to be organizing mostly with people in clusters, in your FN groups, in clusters, in drones. And a lot of that 99 rev is to be mobile. So you might be moving in small groups of an affinity, or you might be moving in sort of a cluster march, or both. Now, it is actually perfectly legal to walk into a building and say, I want to go to this office. I have a letter to deliver. We might make some prop letters or something. So all of these places with numbers and circles, you could go inside in a delegation to deliver something to get up into that office to talk to them about what you care about. You might get stuck at security, in which case you can call them and make them come down. You might be able to do a little more in the lobby. And the, cop, the security might say, if you don't leave, I'm going to call the cops. I like to say, good, call the cops. They should come here. They should arrest them, right? And then before the cops come, you leave, and you go to the next building, right? Same thing with the intersections. It's about in and out, looking at the space, open, step in, move out. One person could stand in a street and stop traffic. But we'd be stupid. So have more. <laughs> Although I've seen it, you know? And so part of this is understanding in all of this work we're doing, the power of the people to reclaim space and our right to the land and this right, right, the right to the cities, right? And the right to lives and dignity. They ain't giving it to us, so we have to take it, unfortunately. And we actually have to be willing to take direct action to do it, right? <laughs> They're with us. Everybody's with us. Anyway, all that being said and done, it's a lot. But it's trying to be broken down into smaller pieces. And we've got three days to keep integrating and building and learning and making sure we have enough people to do all that needs to be done. And I have full confidence, we all have full confidence that this amazing group of people here can make this day work. And so maybe we see if there's questions and then we can move the process. Yeah. I also just want to put in real quick, so this is going to be made in, there's some of these that are already printed. Um, and in the inside is this map on a shortened version and uh, information on all those points that we talked about. And then on the back is, is kind of a schedule of how things are happening. 
more information on what we're calling the the ninety nine percent revolution the the people's wall all of these different things um and so you'll be able to take this with you so you can like have all this in your mind and it'll it be accessible to other folks as well so now we're going to break out to cut uh austin is delivering the map this is for the affinity group make sure everyone has a map break out into your affinity group or cluster and talk about the map we're going to reconvene and the framework right. again folks as you know, that breakout, I am not going to stream. Um, I will report back to you guys what I need to know. And uh, so I'll express myself a little. Yeah, they're going to familiarize 15 minutes. yourself with the I'll map. come back. Have and conversation that's pretty much it. Room. All right. Does Talk it to you make soon. Sense Thanks to for you watching my stream. Occupy for life. It? Retweet it. Follow my Twitter it? handle, OWS really underscore Casper. And see you again in 15 minutes. Thank you. So we can move to the next thing. In your affinity group, nice, general you. things that you want to kind of come back with. So when we come back, we're going to do a report back. We're going to have a go around of all the affinity groups. And just be prepared. We're going to be asking the name of your affinity group, how many people are in your affinity group, and whether or not your group is open and closed. So we get a sense of what capacity is going to look like. It's going to open these Right, and so by open or close, what we mean is whether or not you're willing to bring in more people on Monday. Does that make sense? Okay. Another another question that's usually helpful, but we're not going to deal with it today. In your affinity group, who's arrestable on the day of? That's always good to know. We're not go we're not going to look for that in the report back. But the report back today is very basic. The name of your group, how many are in it? Right? And what was the third one? Anything else? Open or closed? Anything else? Alright guys, I'm gonna log out. Peace. Right now.